Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this Pick a Pal reading with Archangel Raphael. So I've really been guided to do this, you know, since the beginning of the week and I feel this is the right day to do it. So if you're guided to wear green today or, you know, you're feeling a lot of emotions or maybe you're going through things physically, this may just be the reading for you. And Archangel Raphael is the divine physician of heaven. So he's the great healer, but he also heals body and mind. So he's great at healing emotions and healing situations and bringing in peace. So I'm going to bring in the Archangel Raphael Oracle. This is the Dorian Virtue one. I'm also going to bring in my brand new deck, which I reviewed with you guys on Monday. The Archangel Raphael Oracle of Healing. This is a very big deck with lots of information in. I'm going to bring in a deck I've used throughout the day today, the Angel Reading Cards. And I'm also going to bring in this deck, Messages from the Heart of the Divine Oracle. So let's see what you need to know. So thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around pile number one? And then I'll decide what I'm going to use after crystals wise. What's the energy, please, around pile number two? What do we need to know, please, Archangel Raphael? And this will all be time stamped in the description box below. Pile number three, straight out there. Pile number three, here we go. What do we need to know, please, angels, for pile number one? Wow. Love how the cards make themselves known in their own way. Look at this. Pile two. Pile number three. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. And then with my deck here, this is a very big deck. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for pile number one? What do we need to know for pile number one? Thank you. For pile number one, I feel there's more messages. Pile number one, that's it there. Okay, yeah. Pile number two, what do we need to know? Pile number two, thank you, thank you. And pile number three, what do we need to know? Wow, look at this. Amazing. Is that it? Yeah, lovely. Just pop them on top. This one's moving on top as well. And then we're going to do an energy, please, angels, around pile one. Pile one, an energy around pile number two. Jump straight out there. And an energy around pile three. Look at that, amazing. Okay. So we've got pile one, pile two, and pile three. Now, they are guiding me as well to bring in the sacred union oracle. Okay. So what's affecting the health of your connection or anything you're going through right now for pile number one? What do you need to know or be aware of for pile number one? Clear card, please, angels. There it is. Pile number two, clear card, please. Thank you. Pile number three, thank you. Wow. Okay, so we've got our piles then. We've got pile one, two, and three. So let's use some crystals. So what I'm going to use, let me see what I've got here in my crystal uh, bowl. I'm going to use rose quartz for pile number one. I'm going to use, I think it's how light for pile number two. And I'm going to use this one pile number three whatever that may be okay so we've got pile one pile two and pile three this will all be time stamped in the description box below if you're guided to more than one pile go where you're guided to go but this is pile one pile two and pile three okay let's do this then so we're going to start with pile one so around your connection right now we've got divine feminine so you may be the divine feminine watching this reading right now you know, or if you are a masculine, you may be asking about your divine feminine or the divine feminine aspect of you. But I feel ultimately you are a divine feminine and you're being asked by Raphael to embrace your femininity. So in other words, embrace the feminine aspect of you. Embrace who you are because that's power. And you know what she's doing there is carrying water on her head and that takes strength and power. So this is reminding you of your power be who you are. You know, you're the person that you are for a reason. You know, the way you look, the colour of your skin, the way your body is. You were born this way for a reason because you are powerful and strong and you have a mission here and you are a leader of love, a warrior of truth and a pioneer of truth too. That means you stand up for who you are and what you believe in and what you've come here to do. 
And sometimes that can give you a little bit of head pressure. So when I'm actually connecting with this, I mean, I know she's got that, you know, water on her head there. And that can cause a bit of pressure because it's she's got it on top of her head. But they all give me a little bit of a tension headache when I'm connecting with this. So maybe that's what you have. Maybe you have tension headaches or you feel head pressure or you feel like you're carrying around burdens or responsibilities. And we've got the angel of healing. So right now you're going through a lot of healing at night when you are sleeping. And, you know, you may be sleeping in the day as well. Maybe you're feeling tired right now. Remember, this is a health or healing reading. So Archangel Raphael is saying to you, I'm coming to you and your guardian angel is with you while you are sleeping and you are receiving our healing. So you may be having healing dreams. Maybe you're feeling like you're sleeping very well or you're not sleeping at all. So if you're not sleeping at all, call on the angels to help you to sleep much better, to bring in healing sleep, relaxing sleep. But I feel you were healing while you were sleeping. So many of you may feel tired. You might feel like you want to have a sleep. Maybe you want to have a lie down. And when we sleep, we reset. You know, we're able to wake up in a fresh energy and begin again. We've got chaos causes disruption. So whatever's going on right now, there may be chaos. And that may be causing physical illness or ascension or struggle because when we go through chaos in our mind or our life, it causes disruption in our body. So that's why there's a lot of healing energy coming in right now. And, you know, when we have our sleep disrupted, it's because we can't settle. You know, we are worrying about something that's on our mind and it's affecting us when we lie down. So we can't switch off. So if there's chaos around you right now that's affecting your sleep and it's causing disruption, call on the angels to bring in sleep or refreshing energy and you'll feel better. Give it time, breathe. So whatever you're going through, all you have to do is give it time. And when you're waiting or feeling like, you know, you are on the receiving end of something, just breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. So it's going to calm you down. But breath work is also about relaxing, being in the moment, being at peace with where you are. It also calms down chaos. So even if there's chaos going on around you, if you feel, you know, calm through breath work, you're going to feel easier. You guys know there's been chaos next door, disruption, building work, drilling, all kinds of crazy going on. And the way I've kept calm through the disruption is to breathe. And also to wear peach moonstone, which I've found very healing. So you may do that too. And be near water to bring in the calm energy of flow. And I love how she's carrying water. So there's definitely an energy of water. You may be a water sign. Okay, your masculine could be a water sign. But water is very cleansing. You know, it takes up a lot of our body. So we have to make sure we are drinking enough water. And we are also around water because it's calming. So water allows us to go with the flow. So you may want to go near the ocean. Maybe you're thinking about booking a holiday by the ocean or you live near the ocean. You want to go and walk by it. Or you want to play a song with ocean sounds, maybe a meditation CD with ocean sounds. Or you want to just run a tap. Even just running a tap can bring in the energy of flow. Having a bath, a relaxing bath with salts or, you know, just splashing around in there. Or feeling a connection with a body of water. If you want to go fishing or, you know, sitting by a lake, it's very healing. And see yourself in divine and perfect health. So whatever you're going through, if you see yourself healthy, if you see yourself living your best life, how you want to be, the universe will make that happen. But what I'm really feeling is there's some chaos around your connection right now or something that's going on that's causing disruption. And it feels like what, what it is is sleep. You're either sleeping a lot or not enough and the balance needs to come in. And when we are sleeping too much, we need water. We need to replenish ourselves. Okay. So this is also about making sure you get what you need. And we've got multidimensional you. So remember, there's many, many aspects of you. You are multidimensional. You are not just of the earth. You are, you know, from the earth because that means you live here. And you reside here and you've got a body, but you are from somewhere else. You are multidimensional. 
you know, you can be in other places, especially when you dream, because you can go somewhere else in the mind. You know, that's why sometimes we don't know what we're doing, because our mind's somewhere else. You know, have you done that? No, I have. I've been in the shower, washing my hair or shaving my legs, and I've had to think, have I just done that? Because I did it physically, but I had no awareness of it because my mind was somewhere else. So remember, you were multidimensional and you have the power to astral travel, to connect on the 5D, to feel at peace. And look at this recovery. There's a recovery coming into the chaos or the physical stuff or the relationship. There's recovery ahead. Dear Raphael, thank you for holding my hand throughout my recovery upon the path of radiant healing and radiant health. And also Archangel Raguel is coming through and he is the angel of relationships. So I feel he is also helping you to feel at peace with where you are, to get that relationship back with yourself and to feel more at peace with who you are as a divine feminine. Especially if you are a guy and you're operating in feminine energy right now can feel very disruptive or chaotic because you know you're, you're feeling all these emotions and feelings so allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling and go with the flow i hope that helps okay but rose quartz remember is very healing to the heart so you're feeling all these emotions allow yourself to feel them don't judge them breathe through them and be at peace i hope that helps okay pal to welcome this gorgeous how like blue this is one of George's favourite stones. Very beautiful. So in your connection, we've got stuck. A temporary pause to a favourable outcome or for a favourable outcome. So things may feel a bit stuck right now. So that's why you may feel physically, you, you know, ascension. You may feel like you can't breathe or you may feel like you've got things stuck in your throat. Or you may feel, you know, there's just a lot of chaos energy around you, which resonates with pile one. But this is more tension you know this may be you know they give me pains in the arms as well but i feel this is kind of an energy where you just may be struggling a little bit with where you actually are or where your twin actually is because it may feel like things aren't quite moving you know things feel stuck or there's a delay or an obstacle or a pause or something that's frustrating and it's only temporary it's a temporary pause so this could also be separation, a temporary pause for a favourable outcome or to a favourable outcome. So in other words, you're going to get where you're meant to be. Give it time. So we've got parking angel. So this is powerful because this is about movement. So again, you know, cars are, are, you know, designed to drive and move forward. But it feels like it's parked up and the engine is revving, like you're wanting to go somewhere, do something, but you feel like, the stock, you know, they show me like the energy of traffic jams, red lights, you know, delays. So it's about you seeing it in a new way. If there's any delays in your life right now, you are being protected. You know, if you're parked up, you know, as in traffic, you're being protected. You may be being protected from an accident up the road. So you have to remember you are being saved when there's a delay. You are being protected and respected by heaven when there's a delay. And also, parking angel is about getting you where you, you're meant to be. So you park in the right spot. Everything happens for a reason at the right time. And we've got children and babies. So you may be thinking about things to stop because you want a family. You want children, you want babies, you want to make love to your twin. You know, you want to have a family. And you feel like they were already somewhere else. Or they may have this with other people. And you're wondering when it's going to happen. And this is affecting you. So first of all, Raphael is saying to you, regarding your body and what's going on in it, you know your body better than anyone. So trust in that. So if you're feeling anything physical, I feel you may be going through ascension. And you know, it can be a bit scary, but you're okay. And we've got, I'm right by your side. So Archangel Raphael is with you, holding your hand. And I feel this is also about your twin. Wherever they are, wherever they, where, whatever they feel stuck in, they're right by your side. Because I feel they're parked in a situation. And they have to release that situation. So the treatment for you is to relieve stress, to breathe. okay, To get rid of any stagnant energy. To move, to go for a walk, maybe go for a drive. To bring in the flow. 
and we've got softening into grace and i love this because we've got the swan and the swan is the symbol of the divine feminine and it's also about grace as in you know the swans are very graceful they're very beautiful you know they're very pure and they just glide along the lake but if you annoy a swan it's powerful so this is about you being at ease with where you are and also making sure you know you're getting it enough sunlight but operating in the sunlight this is you this is your positivity your grace your power your light being the energy of the sun they give me fear and being radiant being the lighthouse so shining out for all to see that's going to attract in the fruits of your labor it's going to bring in what you desire but also to make sure you may be eating enough vegetables or you know having enough fruit and also making sure you're getting vitamin d in moderate doses so dear archangel raphael please help me to enjoy the benefits of sunshine in safe and healthy ways and you know i'm really feeling as well they show me like a cucumber an avocado oranges lemons um you know greens but fruit that's vibrant and bright like peaches or mangoes or melons i feel you may be introducing that into your diet because that may relieve stress for you but ultimately this is about being the sun and you know going in the sunlight also refreshes you and it helps you to feel better you know going in the sun maybe you want to go in the sun you want to go somewhere where it's sunny or you're thinking of going somewhere new or doing something different but ultimately this is about you having a positive outlook on life and when you have that you're going to attract in naturally everything that you desire including being able to have the family life you desire with children and babies and also you know if you already have babies and children because your children will be your babies no matter how old they are they see you as the sunlight and they see you as this graceful being you know you're very beautiful and you're you know honoring you so this is also a message to honor you to bring in better health so physically i feel if you are going through anything it's ascension and it's because of stuck energy things don't feel like they're moving forward right now so you've been asked to breathe and relax and go with the flow and trust in the timing of life i hope that helps okay power three welcome so the energy around your connection right now is something must end for a new beginning to occur so you, it's like there's an ending happening this could be there needs to be a end to a relationship a karmic situation there has to be a new beginning coming in here and you know the birds i'm feeling this as the eagle so your twin coming in but i feel as well this kind of guidance you know this truth and you need to chill so this is really about you relaxing about the timing of things trusting these endings will occur trusting your twin to do what they need to do and you need to relax a bit more so you just may be a little bit stressed over the situation and the angels are asking you to relax chill to calm down to breathe so this may be that you need a holiday or a rest or to go somewhere by yourself or somewhere new yeah look at this the angel of divine timing so archangel metatron is saying to you all is well surrender to the timing of this situation there's nothing to fear there needs to be a karmic ending first and we've got to observe your thoughts and feelings so observe what you're thinking about this situation what you're feeling about it to feel at peace so if you're going through anything physically it may just be that you need to observe why you're feeling this way because that will calm you down and make yourself feel better and see yourself fully healed and that can also mean whole and complete so see yourself in union with your twin see yourself living your best life see yourself successful see yourself in the job you want or the home you want or with the amount of money that you want when you see yourself that way you are creating what you want in the now and rest for a while so maybe you aren't working right now and you feel like you're on a permanent vacation and you're worrying because you want to work you want a job and the angel saying just rest for a while the right thing will come at the right time there has to be an ending for a new beginning so this could be you've put your order in with the universe and someone has to leave a job first so you can have their job which obviously you may not know about or be aware of but everything aligns in divine timing and this may be that you know you just need to take a break a rest 
go on a little trip with yourself or have a moment and know that health is your birthright you know you deserve to be healthy because that's why you've come and look at your life so this is really about looking at your life and thinking what do I need to end to begin again what needs to change in my life do I just need to have a rest right now and you know recuperate and we've also got alternative medicine do more research so what I'm actually feeling with this first of all is if you want to be a healer in some way and work with alternative medicine which could be reiki crystal healing or something else you just need to do a little bit of research you are more than capable of achieving these goals and dreams so this is showing you you can create a plan and put it into place all you have to do is do your research and know that you have the power within you to heal maybe you're doing research about alternative medicine you don't want to take prescription drugs anymore or you don't want to listen to what people are saying anymore because you know your own body better than anyone so you are now researching alternative medicine or other things and we've also got the resilient heart so you know you are strong and capable and you have a resilient heart so if you've been through any heart issues this is showing you your strength and power you know and what the angels want you to know is if anyone's had heart problems in your family you know maybe that could be a grandma or a granddad or even your mum or your dad if anyone's passed over or had heart conditions this is about recovery so i feel two things i feel if you're worrying about someone's heart right now whether it's a heart disease or an attack or it's some opening up in some way there's going to be a recovery but it's about that you are resilient so you know you can be you know healed and you'll get through what you're, you're going through whether it's emotional or physical because you are strong you are a warrior but don't harden your heart you know when we have issues with the heart it's because we harden our heart and when that happens the blood can't flow is easy so it causes problems within so don't harden your heart because of life or the situation or anything else be at peace so the angels are saying to you you being guided to the right healing treatment for you or that you want to perform on others and you're giving the angels are giving you clear signs and messages to validate the best path to this for your well-being so this may be another reason why if you are applying for jobs and they're not working out it's because the angels have other plans all you have to do is do a little bit of research dear god and raphael thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that i need to know for my well-being please give me the courage to be assertive as i take charge of my health care needs so take charge today and think what do i want to do in my life what do I want to do with my body, with my emotions, with myself? Because your journey is actually working out beautifully in divine timing. All you have to do is rest for a while because things are happening naturally. There needs to be, you know, this kind of ending for a new beginning. And you know what that means for you. Maybe you're even changing your own life in ways right now that you need to change. And you're doing research about that. But you know what to do because you have a strong heart. You are capable of getting through whatever you're going through. All you have to do is breathe and be at peace. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.